Yeah! <laughs> oh, what up, y'all? And welcome back to another one. My voice is a little hoarse today. I don't know why. <sighs> Just slapped on the old waiter jobbers. Uh-huh. And my buckle was broke, so I had to duct tape it. Great. I need new waiters. I actually liked these waiters. Today is the startup of Duck and Spec. It's back open today. Uh, the pond that we're headed to is my lease, my little lease pond with all the trees around it. The one that you guys seen, I don't know, about a month and a half ago. It's actually Gerald's little pond. He's already headed that way. Duck opens, Spec opens today. Uh, we've had specs everywhere. Beautiful barred up specs, decoying in the spreads lately. And hopefully today we can shoot some over water. More importantly, I want to shoot ducks. I want to shoot ducks. You guys miss ducks. I miss ducks. Um, this is going to be our last hoorah of duck hunting for 20, uh, 2020 and 21 seasons. So uh, it's going to be open for about seven, eight, nine, right around, right around a week. And uh, it's going to be done after that. And then we're going to move into snow goose and snow goose only. So we got to cherish it while we have it and get it in while we can. But anyways, uh, today I want to let you guys know, for one, uh, the podcast has been popping off. We're doing uh, special giveaways over there. We're doing a turkey hunt giveaway exclusively to the podcast patrons only, okay? Uh, I will link the podcast at the top of the description below. It's going to be a two-man turkey hunt coming this spring, a giveaway coming soon. So, want to let you guys know on that. And then the duck gear, oh yeah, it's on and popping. I'll link it all down below. Thermal hoodies. I got them waiter thermal sweats on. Oh, yeah. But I'm going to turn out lights. We're going to get on the road. I hope it's a good one, y'all. Well, figured I'd just turn on the camera while driving here for a minute. Got about another, I don't know, five, ten minute drive. Um, just in the truck by myself, going down the same roads at the same time in the morning as we have the last hundred days. I'm going to be having a video come out. Uh, it's gonna say, um, hold on, bump. Not as bad as I thought. It's gonna, uh, the video is gonna be something like I guided 100 clients in 100 days. We actually have guided well over 100 clients, uh, but I'll have uh, the legit numbers of how many clients, where they were from. I'll break everything down, all the numbers, um, some bird counts, and stuff like that. So be looking out for that video. Uh, but I just wanted to reflect a little bit. It's been a crazy year. This has been my uh, busiest year of my entire life. And I mean that. The busiest year of my entire life. I thought uh, last year and the other years previous uh, with the YouTube channel, I thought those were my most hectic, busiest years. Not even close. Guiding is insane, guys. And, and I know you guys hear about it from a lot of people out there that do guide, but take it from me, someone that hopefully you guys trust and, and enjoy and, 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 and tune in quite often, it's no joke. Uh, when you get a midday nap, you have to take advantage of them uh, because you have to entertain clients uh, throughout the evening. Um, I can tell in the latter part of, uh, of the season here, I'm really winding down. I'm really winding down. My energy level is just kind of dropping a little bit. It's not that I'm upset or anything. I am just worn out and I am ready to relax. So what's gonna happen when I'm getting that is uh, in a couple days, two days, uh, Preston, Brad, and myself, we're all headed out for our annual uh, boys little duck trip, dude. And, and it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be so much fun. Stud ducks, mallards, wedge, and pintail. I hope that we get a few down today, but I just want to just kind of reflect a minute. It's been insane. So many different people in my truck in the morning. So many memories made like that. It just flew by. Well, here we are. We're walking her in. Almost got everything set up and ready to go. But here's the A-frame situation. Using Evergreens, yet again, three A-frames. And all you guys. <laughs> Y'all ready to go? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All ready? Oh, yeah. Well, we're done. What time is it? 6.43. 6.43, that's not bad. Last time we sat up here, we were waiting for like an hour. 
hmm. way too early. Yeah. Not yeah. today, yeah. not bad at all. Uh, let's go check out the spread here. You're only going to be able to see so much in the dark, but we got the full bodies. We got all of our goose floaters out, except for all the white. We're not using all the snow geese. And some ducks. <laughs> well, the birds are, <laughs> they're early today. <laughs> they are very early. I mean, really early. I hope that y'all can see me. I'm gonna talk real fast. Uh, they are lifting off the roost uh, beside us. Really, really early jumping water they've been doing this like every day but i didn't know that they were doing it over here anyways check it out the pond is looking juicy as ever there's a ton of birds in the air i'm going to shut up and start filming well, thank goodness specs have opened back up yeah there is a ton of specs here are you ready? <laughs> Welcome to Kansas. Two specks came real low. I'm like, on your left, on your left. He was like, we're waiting, Bob. We got a mob of birds. Just get, they, it seems like every time they pass, they get a little lower and a little lower and they like it a little more. And now they're kind of just leaving. <laughs> well, as you can tell, just like last time we hunted it, they're wanting to land on the north side. That single, guys. Nice shot. He's dead. Yeah. All right, get ready. Get ready because all them birds that just landed are getting up and coming this way. Load up. Here they come, boys. Get ready. Try pray and pray right there. Good shooting, G. Dude. Yes. That's the way we start off the pond hunt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got ducks, we got geese. Hey, three geese coming still here. Oh, yeah. Let's do some filming out here, boys. Show you the spread, show you what's up. Yes. If you like the video so far, nearly as much as I do, you got to smash the thumbs up button. We haven't had ducks in a while. Ducks and specks, but mainly ducks. Check it out. This is the spread. Uh, like I said, we have about two dozen uh, ducks out. All of our full body geese, our floater geese out yonder, white, mostly Canada's, looking juicy. That was awesome. That was awesome. Yeah. I want to push the duck decoys out farther. Okay, let's do it. There he goes. Look at that Malardo, that old Archie daddy has. Yeah, buddy. We've waited a while to have a green head. Oh, first, a good one. Oh, first one in a while. Woo. Let me take him up there. Yep. I'll get the decoys okay. real quick. What a beauty. Uh, Look at that stud muffin. <laughs> Big old greens. Yeah. Who shot him? <laughs> you gotta be honest. I think it was <laughs> me. I think it was me, but I don't know. <laughs> Somebody I, else shot too. I like if you have them. I didn't fine. shoot at all, so I know for yeah, I sure it wasn't me. Wasn't me. <laughs> right, no, have I, you guys think so, so, I think not, it was, but, so it was either you or you? But Rochambeau. You okay, Rochambeau? you said you can have him. Oh, All sweet. yours, bud. That's a stud. First muffin. green head. Him. First green head? First green head. Yeah. Dude, get him mounted, man. That's a, that's a good to. one to get mounted. That's a good one. His wings didn't get messed up at all, dude. Oh, yeah. That's a now we can one. all be jealous when we go over to your house. Right? <laughs> dude, I should have claimed it. Either the duck or the geese. I'll take either. One duck doing it versus six geese. I don't know. I think I take the duck at this point. We haven't got to get very many of them. Yeah, I'm ready for some ducks. <laughs> oh, yeah. Try them, guys. <sighs> he did. Oh, Watch where he goes. Out in the field. He's coming up in the field. Okay. 
We got us a dead. Hey, two more right in front, boys. Oof. We were just gonna let the cannons go right there. <laughs> I was I was ready to believe you me. Believe you me. Oh, right here. Two. Well, if we gotta shoot the ducks far, hey, I'm down. As long as they die, I don't care. Well, taking a lovely little stroll by myself. No gun. I hope that hope that wasn't a bad idea to go find this duck. Landed somewhere out here in the field. Hopefully it's all the way dead and not walking on me without a gun. Oh man, that east wind is so cold. I can't even see. I finally found it. That's how she lays. I didn't know it was a hen. There we go. Ha ha. Yes. Yes, yes. Old Susie Q. Feels good to have a duck in my hand. Honestly, this year has been very, 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 very slow on ducks. Um, Pre-season, uh, we thought we were just gonna slay the ducks this year guiding and they just weren't here. They weren't here at all. There's actually a lot more ducks that we've seen this morning than we actually thought would be here. So it's looking good for this coming week. Like I said, stay tuned for the uh, duck hunting to come. It's gonna be the last week of ducks. And the good thing about it, is the ones that we will shoot will be beautiful. Extra plumed out widgeon, pintail, mallard, and definitely some gadwall and diver. Interested uh, to see what we get down. I'm really keeping my fingers crossed for a canvas back. As you can tell, my sinuses are draining because it's so cold out right now, but I really want to mount a canvas back badly. <laughs> These ducks, I start the camera 10 times and then they don't do it. Circling yet again. Nope. Well, are they doing anything different? No. Snack of choice today. The old nutter butter. Oh god. Don't be eyeballing my stuff, I got, man. I got jerky. You bought oh yeah, you brought jerky. This is uh without Frederick, I'll leave the pretzels at home. Just don't seem fair to be eating pretzels out here without Frederick. But Frederick will be on these duck hunts I've been bragging up, so be ready. Ooh. Come on. Well, we just we got one speck down. Pretty sure it was a pretty one. Good looking uh, black belly on him. We'll see here. Archer's after him right now. Ooh, look at this up top duck. Doing it. Muscle man. That's a lesser. That's a lesser? It looks like a mallard. <laughs> Definitely is. Get ready, guys. Oh, look at him. He's loving it. Uh-oh. Come on. Here we go. Yeah, here we go. Go ahead and shoot him, guys. There we go. That took a while, yeah, didn't it? Don't glide. He just worked and worked and liked it yeah. and didn't like it. Back and forth. <laughs> Did he bring back that speck? Uh -uh. Well, I can go for a walk. I'll go for a walk and find him because that was a, that's a keeper right there. Mm -hmm. Never know. Could be banded from Anchorage, Alaska. Well, I figured I'd bring you guys along for my ride uh, whenever Gerald and I hunt this pond. Uh, it's a large pond. I think it's a six acre, seven acre pond right around there. You have sailors and they come to the north end and the dog just loses them. They just go too far, you know? So we are on a scavenger hunt for two birds. I know that there is definitely a speck down here and possibly another speck slash Canada. Um, this pond is beautiful. I mean, gorgeous. Check it out. Real steep bank all the way around it. Looks like we're going to have to go down right here. Good to go. All right, where's our birds? Where's our birds? Probably should have brought a gun. I think one was swimming. <laughs> It'd be over here somewhere. Beautiful pond, though. Like I said, it's rather large. Um, 
it's so big it's hard to hunt it's uh kind of difficult to decide exactly where you want to sit this morning this morning oh there's ducks coming up better sit down for a minute this morning uh when all the uh, geese came at the beginning of the morning we are on the southeast corner with a southeast wind over there now i'm at the northeast corner and this is where they are landing every time we hunt this they always want to land towards the north side no matter on the no, no matter the wind what it is so i think next hunt if we do get one this year we'll have to try this north side and next year we're going to clear this bank out the farmer said we could do whatever we wanted just you know within within means and i think that this clear this whole north bank out right here so we could uh set a bunch of full bodies or they still got ducks right here no there he goes i need my gun dang it it's a good looking speck literally scared the you know what out of me he was sitting right in there inside the bank i'm gonna have to go get a gun and shoot him well had to go get the gun <laughs> uh, i gotta go back and get this speck good looking barred up speck for surely I knew I should have took my gun when I left the blind. I always do that. If you're ever having a second guess like, hey, I should probably take my gun, grab it. Take it with you. Because now I'm going to have to walk another about a mile just because, uh, eh, over a mile, mile and a half, just because I didn't bring my gun the first time. One that uh, ran away from me should be right on the other side of this bank. And luck has it. They're working birds. So I'm gonna have to wait a little bit. We're gonna pop over this bank, see if we can. Pew, pew. Bunch of ducks just landed right there. Oh, landed right out in the center. Probably what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Man. The ducks are bad about that here. Short stopping your spread. Still ducks flying. Pintails. I really wanna shoot a pintail. He's right here. I can see him. Probably going to try to run again. Here he goes. Uh, it's probably going to get too deep for me to go get it. I would imagine. I don't know what it really does over on this side as far as depth goes. But we're going to try it. Just take your time when you're exploring Ooh, new waters. You never know how deep if it drops off. If the bottom's really soft, don't just go charging out there. If I can't get it, that's why we have a dog. Uh, come on. Ooh, ooh, it's getting real soft. Yuck. Come on. Come on. Ooh, I'm getting close. Ooh. Oh god, I'm gonna take on water. Shoot. Oof. Oh, I can't reach it. Come on, buddy. Oh, I'm gonna take on water. Bob, come on. Oh, I'm taking on water. I can feel it on my butt. Going down the back. Okay, get out. Archie will have to come back and get ham. I just got my chonies wet. Shoot him, guys. Oh, that single. That one How in the heck didn't I hit him? He's hit. Too, yeah, he's definitely hit. Hit the tree. Oh, oh no, we got a swimmer. We got a swimmer again? Yep. One mallard down. Well, I would say the mojos helped. Uh, big shout out to Drusive. He brought two mojos for us. Should have brought them at the beginning, but we just didn't think we'd really need them. Archer is on a swimmer. Another mallard down. I'm gonna go look at the field and see if the other one fell. Pretty sure I got that on the old shot cam. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't expecting it. I was walking on the bank. Two mallards. One wasn't wounded at all. He just took off. Missed uh, two or three shells on him. Can't believe I didn't hit him. The second one came uh, stumbling off the bank. Gave him a headache. So, one in the bag. I didn't even know there was two down there. Got one. Again, guys, smash that thumbs up if you're enjoying the video. Uh, 
hand. One of y'all dropped an awesome comment the other day. You were like, all you subscribers, all you new subscribers, be sure to really, really appreciate and enjoy these waterfowl hunts because when summer comes, we'll all have the duck hunting blues. I do have, uh, for you guys this summer, I will have some videos that you haven't seen yet. There's a lot of hunting that Preston recorded, filmed, better yet, uh, with his big camera, and I didn't get to make a video. So, we're gonna be able to recap all those this summer. Come on, boys. Shooter, guys. Yeah. Hey, there you go. Susie Q down. <laughs> yeah. Woo. <laughs> oh, me and G got yeah. caught outside. We were like, oh, it's done. Thinking it might be done. It ain't done. Two ducks just did it. Heel. Ish. Heel. She did all right. Heel. Out front again. It's her boyfriend. Oh, well, next day, uh, the last clients that y'all just met, they just headed out after their last goose hunt. I didn't hunt this morning. I stayed in bed with the family. Felt like it was much deserved and it was nice. Sleeping in was nice. So that's the last clients of the season. We are gonna have a lot of buddy hunting in and out of the lodge here. A lot of snow goose hunting, a lot of special guests coming. So by far the videos are not stopping. You all know that. When waterfowl season's here, we all. But all the guides are leaving. All my help, all my boys. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk around, talk to everybody, see where they're headed. Um, all of them are actually headed to the same spot except for Preston. Uh, actually Preston is too. <laughs> but we're gonna get into some duck hunting. Um, Preston and I are actually headed out tonight to go out east a few hours on a little buddy trip, annual buddy trip that we always do. Stud widgeon, pintail mallards out there. It's all over brother, it's all over. Are you tired? That's all I got for you. <laughs> That's all I got for you. <laughs> no, I'm not tired. Slept in today. Yeah, you got the. Me and you both slept in. Yeah. Old Gage. Let this guy go. Oh, old Gage took our spot today. Oh yeah. That, that was, was a, a good one. You missed out. I, I, I liked watching the backs of my eyelids. To be honest with oh, you. Oh yeah. I don't know. This one was pretty cool. Yeah. No. They're all pretty cool. Yeah, but this one was fun because it was. A really good friend of mine's field, and there's finally birds on it. Yeah. So it was cool to go out there and smack them. He loved it. Yep. It was a good one. I knew it was going to be a good one, but some time in bed with the family was really nice. <laughs> Drew's like, no more, Bob. What are you doing? God, you're all bloody. Looks like you've been working or something. Cleaning. Huh? Cleaning. Cleaning? Packing? Packed up, ready to go. Shop's clean. All your stuff is out. It's out. We're moving out. You're moving out You're evicting us. God, I'm not. <laughs> I, I want you to stay. I'm going to be sad and lonely and depressed. You'll be down there. Yeah, I'm going to go down there. Tell everybody right where you're heading and what you got going on. We're headed to Jonesboro, Arkansas. We're going to run some snow goose hunts down there for up north outdoors. We're going to play in the mud. It's going to be a lot of playing in the mud for these boys. Uh, all of them are going to the same spot with uh, up north. Mm -hmm. up north outdoors yeah, i'm gonna be down there a little after probably the first of february for a couple to few days but between now and then we're gonna get on some ducks that is uh that's what's on the plate you're gonna get on the road you're, tomorrow you, morning you have yep. eight snow goose spreads to sit yep <laughs> you're like yep. shut up bob don't yep. remind me yep we'll probably have i bet you i bet you jimmy already has two of them in the ground by the time oh, we get really? there yeah well that won't be too bad plus kurt's down there Oh good. So Old it's Kurt's it's down there, the taxidermist. It started raining today. Oh, it started raining in Arkansas today. It's been it's been like 70 degrees and dry until today. When these boys roll in, the downpours is gonna start. That's what always happens. The beginning of snow goose season, wet, muddy, terrible. Uh, the last luncheon, the last dinner. Old Joseph, he whipped up some pork chops and goose. Check out these goose little nuggets. Get out of here. Think Hungry. You steal your food? Oh, they're so good. <laughs> Little goose nuggets. Bubby. Oh, is that Rain Johnson, the end music, Bubba? Yeah. <laughs> you want some goose? No. Daddy doesn't. Goodness, this is just a lunch. That's how it goes down at Sand Hill when old Joe, when old Joe's in charge. <laughs> oh, bring you're so cute. Here, honey, let me help you. 
Let me help you, big girl. There you go. There you go. She's so sweet. Everybody, it's a, it's a bittersweet day. That's for sure. We're all in um, high spirits and it was a great season. We had <laughs> little to no ups and downs. It was, it was not a roller coaster for our first year. It was a very, very well-oiled machine. And I cannot wait to keep doing this for a long time and expanding the lodge and growing the guide service and bringing on more help next year. Next year, we're gonna be running two spreads at all times. Uh, to everybody that's interested in booking, uh, books to the public will open in the spring. Uh, other than that, the, uh, the Patreon, the podcast is fired up. We are giving away a two-man turkey hunt this coming spring to stay either here or out at P. Diddy's Lodge, wherever the turkeys are at. Two guys. There's going to be one winner and you can bring one guy with you. The only way that you can get entered into that giveaway is to become a patron over at Patreon, over at my podcast. I'll link it down at the top of the description below, okay? It's popping off over there. Y'all have loved it. There hasn't been one person comment saying, hey, this is a waste of my money. Five bucks a month, not bad. Just FYI too, it'll be every Sunday. And every once in a while you might get one in between, but plan on every Sunday. Yeah. It uh, Today it just went up a little after noon, I think. Sometime from noon to five o'clock every Sunday yeah. is when that thing will be up. Sundays are perfect. Everybody's chilling, relaxing, just kicking it. I think it's good. But thank you all for being here. Subscribe if you haven't. There's still like 50% of you that have not subscribed. I don't know what y'all are doing, but until next time.